and Drew, I'm going to turn it over to you. All right. So I'm, uh, I've been given the job to introduce Tom to all you guys. I think a lot of you guys already know him um, through the Facebook group. And Tom's been online for, I think, well, I, I've known you for probably two years. I've seen you around on Facebook and stuff like that, uh, seen your posts. Um, you know, you're friends with a lot of my friends like Alex and all those guys who've been, you know, online for 10 years and that kind of thing. Uh, from what you've told me and stuff, you've been online full time for about 17 years now. Your background's more into like the MLM side of things. And, uh, you know, you found peak funding. And I think that, you know, you can jump in here and, and tell us a little bit about peak funding. And just I think what the guys really want to know is kind of the basics of it kind of thing like that, like you know, the bare bones of how the thing actually works. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I founded Peak Funding. Uh, really, I co-founded Peak Funding uh, with my business partner, Bill Ebert. And the truth is the corporate side of this business was not even my idea. Um, the crowdfunding aspect of the corporate funding business uh, was uh, one of our white label partners came up with that concept. And it just makes such total perfect sense. So uh, Bill and I had been involved in personal funding for a couple of years. We did millions upon millions of dollars in funding. Um, and we were focused on helping people get their credit score. This is for U.S. residents only now. We were focused on helping people get their credit scores up to snuff so we could pull them into funding. And we did that for a couple of years. And Bill uh, built out the software, that, the same software that uh, you know, you're, you're seeing now with Peak was the software that we had been developing uh, allowing folks to upload their documents and you know it's it's totally custom software it doesn't exist anywhere else on earth that i know of uh bill built it over the two-year time span uh really heavily uh developed it in 2018 and then uh in late uh 2018 uh this corporate funding idea came to fruition and uh, we ran a couple of deals through and we tested it before we started marketing it and uh, to, to help give some context to that, I want to introduce my business partner, my first mentor in, in online businesses, Mr. Bill Ebert. Uh, he was the guy that uh, I met that made money in his socks way back when I was working a day job and commuting uh, to a sales office in Kansas City, you know, commuting in the snow and the cold weather. And I remember I knew people were making money. I knew people were getting rich online, you know, going back now to 2002 or three but I didn't personally know anybody that did it yet. And the internet, you know, had emerged, but was still emerging and online businesses were not normal yet. You know, they were, they were getting traction, but I met Bill Ebert and I just like, you know, he inspired me. I was like, I want to do, you know, and I didn't even care if I made tons and tons of money, man. I, I thought if I can make the same money I'm making at my sales job, but, but not have to leave the house, that's a win. And so, uh, you know, I became fast friends with Bill. And Bill took me under his wing. And, and again, he's been the voice of reason in my life. He's a programmer. He's an author. He's written tons of books. He's a personal development freak. He's a family guy. He makes custom knives. And he makes bamboo flutes. And he's just a total, he's a really unique guy because most guys that are, uh, are right-brained aren't left-brained too. But Bill, Bill's got them both. He, uh, he's a true creative genius. My mentor and my business partner in Peak Funding I'm going to turn it over to you, Mr. Billy, but say hello. Thanks, Tom. I always listen to, I always like listening to how Tom talks about me. I'm a pretty good guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, in, in all honesty, you know, Tom's been uh, a good friend for many, many years. Uh, we actually got on a bus. We, we showed up on a bus together just to tell you a little bit of, a little bit of insight. Uh, one of the big monster network marketing companies back 15 years ago, um, they used to fly in the heavy hitters. They used to say, Hey, come in and talk to us. We want to recruit you into this big MLM thing. And so they called me up. I was one of the names in the industry and they called me up and said, Hey, um, we not only want to fly you in, we want to fly in your 12 favorite people. And so I asked a couple friends, I said, who's interested, who wants to uh, go and, and hang out in the house of a billionaire and listen to their pitch and hear their story. And uh, so I reached out to a couple friends and Tom was a friend of a friend. And he, I says, well, invite him. Just, you know, we'll give him a ticket. We got out there. We all got on a bus together after the airplane. Got on, you know, we got into Dallas, Texas, and I met Tom for the first time in his airplane. And we all spent the weekend at the billionaire's house. And so that's how we met. We, we met a whole room full of people. And me and Tom just hit it off right away because I saw that he really wanted this, this life, you know, this, uh, this uh, life of living at home, making money in your socks was how we referred to it. And so we met a whole bunch of people. 
Um, for me, it's about relationships more than it is about money. Of course, we're doing this because we got to pay the bills. You know, our wives are not happy. Um, our kids are not happy unless we bring in the cash and we have and we pay in the paycheck. So that's very, very important. Uh, but for us, it's way more about people and relationships and helping you guys on a personal level. Um, like Tom says, I'm a mentor. I like to care for people. We do live events. We just help people. You know, so hopefully we'll all not only do business together, but we'll become friends. And we'll start doing live events together. We'll start helping as many people as we can. And so that's how this thing started. So uh, do you want to talk about personal funding today or you just want to talk about the corporate thing? What do you want me to do? Cor corporate funding is going to be the focus because most of the people here are in that program and most of them are also international. All right. So uh, the corporate funding is great for the international crowd. So I'm just going to share my screen real quick and just show you some stuff just super fast. Um, there's going to be plenty of time for you to ask more detailed questions. I'm a question guy, so I understand you asking questions. I think you should. I think you should do your due diligence and go through. But as our process, here's, here's the complexity of our process. When a person first comes in a lead, all the way from here, all the way through to actually being part of the corporate program, <laughs> A lot of little steps, and that's what we've built out. We've automated as much of this process as possible so that we can do it with a minimal staff. We don't have a lot of overhead as a company, and the software does all the work. And you're going to see that as you get in. You're going to go into your back office. You're going to see that you have three options. You can go through personal funding. And again, this is really only open for the U.S. people. We have the application and the documents process. Super simple. I mean, we don't even need a video to explain it. It's so simple. You just go through those two processes. If uh, you need credit repair, you go through here. Uh, this shows a little video of the three different ways that you can get your credit repaired if you don't qualify for this one. And then the corporate funding program is where most of you are going to want to go. Um, like Tom said, it wasn't even either one of our ideas. We were doing and helping people in corporate funding. I actually owned and was partner of a company called CreditShare.Club where we actually helped build out corporations. And we showed them how within 90 to 120 days um, to make a minimum of fifty to $70,000 in funding and then we started to see some more tricks and to be able to get that number a lot higher. So I'm not gonna go into a lot of the stuff that you can see by watching the video. There's really no sense in that. I just wanna let you guys know that if you'll go back here and you'll just follow your steps, you can see that you can participate for almost no money. That's one of the nice things about our program is we're not requiring, and I think that was the biggest jump for us, is before this program, you had to come up with 10 or $20,000 to get a corporation and build it out. It was crazy. And when uh, our friend George came up with the idea, why don't we together, why don't we together uh, band together as a group, get a corporation, come up with the money to be able to do it. And then the corporation builds out and we all partner together as a team and the corporation just pays us as a team. I thought when I first heard it, I thought it was an amazingly brilliant idea. We started um, hiring more people, start building it out. And that's what you're going to see now when you go in the back office, you go back here, you decide um, how much you want to invest, as little as 200 bucks, you can be part of the corporation. Or if you like the full meal deal, you can do the whole 20K and get your own corporation and build it out. Like I said, I'm not gonna get into all the nuances of the story, but this really short video will explain almost everything you wanna know. And then if you have additional questions, especially if you're a major contributor, because I'm a question guy, you know, I wanna know, well, how is this safe and how is it legal and, you know, how does it work and where's the money? I want to know all those questions. I want to know all the answers to all those questions. Some people don't care. I'm a question guy. So that's why we do these live events. If you're ready to participate, you know, most people that are investing 200 bucks don't really care and that's fine. Uh, but if you're going to step up with any significant amount of money, you probably want to get on this call, ask some of your questions, get comfortable, uh, let your wife listen. <laughs> Because we know how it is with husbands and wives. You know, we get this great idea. And I heard these guys and they said this beautiful thing. Um, let's do three-way. If you're going to invest some significant money and, and your spouse, wife or husband is saying, hey, I want to hear the stories. We're available to help you guys understand the process and show you how it's not only e easy and legal and how this makes so much sense. Um, but we want your, your significant others and your other partners to be able to see how this makes perfect sense. So... Double your money 120 days. It's probably the best investment out there right now. Uh, crypto's kind of flat. You can't make any money in the crypto space. Um, don't get mad at me if you're in a crypto space. But uh, it's just the way it is. You know, if you're, if you're making money in crypto, that's great. But, you know, there's nothing that's paying this kind of return right now. Um, one of the things I want to tell you is this can't last forever. You know, I'll be perfectly honest with you. There's no possible way to scale this forever. The, the kind of money that we're making... Um, and just the infrastructure alone, if we had 100 corporations, we're building out 100 corporations, it's really not feasible at a certain point 
to build out beyond the next six months or a year. So I think you should get in, do it while it's, while it's available. Um, I'm not trying to do a fear of loss thing either. I'm just trying to be honest with you. This is, this can't, this can't last forever. You can't possibly promise, um, double your money in 120 days. Cause if you just do the simple math, you realize that if I start with a million dollars and double my money every 120 days, I own all the money in the world in five years. It's just not practical. Uh, but it's working right now. It's a beautiful story. We, um, we uh, slowed down. We, we started this program a couple months ago. We had to put it on pause because it was growing too fast. And we care more about building out this uh, a program correctly than trying to make a billion dollars real fast. So one of the things you're also going to find out is if we grow too fast, we're going to pause it again. So, you know, we might go another 30, 60 days and we get too many corporations to build out and we build out our infrastructure, we're more concerned about taking care of the customers that have come in than turning this into a business opportunity. This isn't your network marketing MLM biz op. That's not what this is. This is a opportunity for people that you know, come in, become a, become a part of the program. And then after, after a certain amount of time, we're gonna have two options. One is to let you guys, we're gonna teach some of you guys how to do what we do and let you franchise it and go off and do it yourself. And we'll just stay with the core of people that we built our first hundred or 200 corpse and we'll help you guys um, build it out and make as much money as we can. So um, that kind of gave you some background story and some of the pieces that aren't necessarily in the video. So if you have any questions, I guess that's what the call is for, right? Um, this is Q and A time. It's a Q and A time. And, and, but before we get to the Q and A, uh, Drew, I just want you to kind of share your experience, uh, you know, with the program, uh, talk about uh, the kind of money you made. Uh, Bill and I, we, we scrubbed some of the wires that have been coming through. You've, you've had a lot, a lot of money hit. And uh, tell me what your experience has been so far. It's been great. It's uh, like really, really easy to promote, I feel. Um, I kind of, what I did is I did a little something different, right? Because all marketers, if you're, if you're going to market something, you got to stand out. You got to do something a little different. So I didn't actually use your guys' funnel going in to the uh, front end of the site. I created my own funnel um, with an email autoresponder. There's about 10 emails linked to it. Every single email has a video in it that shows, you know, the prospect how to make money online uh, through doing exactly what I did basically. So uh, for instance, I built a funnel into it. Um, the first six days of my uh, email series is all about how I built that funnel. So I basically just did something a little bit different. I uh, didn't use the normal structure of, of how to send people into the system. Um, and that's what really works if, if you're marketing something. So that's what I feel really gave me the result I got. And of course, you know, I, I have a, a following as well because um, that's part of being a marketer. You want to build your following. So my results, I don't know what they are a hundred percent. I know how much uh, uh, leads I have in there. I know how many people are active in the system. Um, last I heard from you guys uh, was I did about 3000 the first week um, in commission. And then I talked to another guy yesterday who said he's putting in 20 K. I don't know if that went through yet, but you guys might know about that um, type of thing. Yeah. So uh, to recap, how many days have you been involved uh, with the program? Oh. Drew? I, I funded maybe two weeks ago. Yeah. And I didn't do anything for the first week because I was kind of waiting for some timing, like to figure out more about the system, you know, talk to you more about it. We talked almost every single day. Uh, after I funded. And then, uh, you know, I, I felt, okay, I know enough about the system because you never want to just go into something and not really know, you know, the most common questions that are going to be asked from your leads and stuff like that. So, you know, I just, you know, wanted those answers first before I went out there and, and started promoting and such like that. Yeah, perfect. So uh, yeah. To, to recap in that time, so, so really you've, you've been at it maybe seven to 10 days. Yeah, basically. Okay. Yeah. And in about that time, uh, yeah. how much, how, how, how much have you made in commissions? Not counting the 20 grand. Oh, about, I think about 3000. Yeah. At least yeah. actually probably more. Yeah. So, so folks, uh, Drew, now Drew put his own system together and, and if, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, Drew, everyone that you've referred will have access to your funnel too. Well, I teach no. them how to do it their, themselves. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and, and the great thing is that, you know, even if you're not a creative, if you're not super technical, uh, there's tools out there that allow you to do these things pretty friction free these days. Uh, and what a testimony, right? You know, seven to 10 days of, of, of taking action, uh, 3000 in commissions. 
if that 20K wire is confirmed Monday or Tuesday, that's going to bump him to about nine, probably 10,000 in commissions in his first couple of weeks. That's, that's a real business opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. And, mm -hmm. and I know, Drew, you're just getting started, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just getting started. Yeah, no, this is, I know this is going to be big. You know, the first day I promoted it, I could just feel that it's, it's different. You know, talking to you, you know, direct, you know, you're the admin of, of the system and stuff like that. Like a lot of admins, even if they know you're going to push it hard and you might bring in, you know, I think I have 111 leads into the system. So even if you're going to get those kind of results, a lot of times, you know, they know there's going to be another guy coming behind you that's going to be the same and they don't really, you know, even put the time in to talk to you. Yeah. Like you're in the Facebook group talking to, uh, responding to members and stuff like that, which is really, really awesome. Right. You yeah. Know? So yeah. it's good. Good. Yeah. I think yeah. you've had probably 90 people come into the Facebook group in a week too. So congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're at like 208 in there. Yeah, so there about 90. Know. I think I had, I, I probably had 90 or, or, or 109 or something like yeah, that. You had around 100 and something in there. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Uh, now that this, this call is for you guys, so we want to take the questions and answers. If, if you don't have a mic or if you're not able to talk, go ahead and, and, and put your question in chat. We're going to get to every question. And uh, Bill, I'm going to let you handle the question part of this because you're more adept at it than me, more experienced than me. We got some questions in chat. Uh, go ahead and, um, geez, I forgot. Bill, do you know what they pressed to raise their hand? I don't remember. I see a question here. That, okay, let's just start. Uh, said, uh, start there. It's from Mike. And uh, he says, so from when we fund, when would we start earning? It takes, we're right now closing out a new corporation right about once a week. So um, you'll get a notification within three or four days of uh, once your money has been cleared. And so you, your contract or your agreement will go green. In other words, it's been approved and, and uh, you're in the next group. And then we close out on Tuesday. So if any corporation, if any corporation closes out on a Tuesday, we, we, uh, we pay commissions on that Friday and we order the next corporation. And with anywhere from seven to 10 days, the corporation name will be made, your names and your, and your, uh, and your uh, shares and your uh, membership agreements will all be put out. You'll also get a notification as to where to find the Google Docs. You can see the corporation and how the build out has started. And then um, you'll sign the next, the final agreement between yourself and the corporation. So um, that's kind of general, you know, like I said, three days, three days to get you three days to get it cleared. And then, um, from Tuesday to Friday, you'll see the next one. So the next corporation will close out. We just closed out two corporations this week. So you, if you're in one and you haven't made it, it's very, very likely that if you've funded, if you put any money in this last week, you'll see the notification and the confirmation of the next corporation on the next coming Friday. We send out commissions every Friday uh, before midnight. We send out e-checks to everybody who gets paid. Okay, so about like... a kind of a week and a half to two weeks kind of thing, like 10 days or so. Yeah. Like that from when they, they uh, do their wire or, or such. Okay. So I've got another question here. Actually, I've got a lot of questions because uh, I did a, a post on my wall and I just said, do you guys have any questions? And I had about 30 people message me. <laughs> so <laughs> I've got a lot of, a lot of questions here, but uh, we, I just kind of put the best ones together that I felt. Okay. So, um, one that was asked a ton of times about six different people asked this is, um, you know, how can you guys, because you, you say guarantee in your video, um, in our space of kind of a fund to earn opportunity, like they're funding and then in 120 days, uh, they're getting back double what they funded basically, or they're loaned. Um, you guys are saying, uh, guaranteed with very low risk, you'll double your funds in 120 days. Um, they're asking, how can you guarantee that? Like, what's the, the systematic way in the background that you can guarantee that? Well, a lot of times uh, that question is asked for two different reasons. Question, the reason the question first is asked is the word guarantee in some circles is actually an illegal term. You actually can't yeah. use the word guarantee in investment strategies. Uh, but we're not, we don't fall under that category. We don't fall under the SEC category of, investment, of, of investment opportunities. Uh, what, you're, what we're doing is we're taking something that is traditionally understood, been around for 10, 20, 30 years. You start a brand new corporation and there's, you can actually go on Google and you can find, take a brand new corporation to funding $100,000 in four to six months. So it's something that we've, that you can actually do by yourself. 
This is not a secret. It's not a secret tool. We actually don't have any secret sauce. We take stuff that I've been doing and other people have been doing for years and we're taking a brand new corporation. We're building it out in a traditional fashion. We're putting a real business plan together. We're putting real money into the, into the funding and into the trade lines and all the things that's necessary. And so um, we're getting a lot more than the traditional people are. But if we were to just get, let's just listen to these numbers. If we were to just get $60,000 in our first round of funding, everybody gets paid. You understand? Because we have $40,000 that we have to pay back. It costs $20,000 for the corporation. The corporation, once they get their funding, they're going to pay you back out of your own corporation. You have to get a minimum of 40 and then some money left over to invest to be able to pay off those loans. So I'm saying that if we get a minimum of 60, and in most cases we're getting 100, 200, and $300,000, if we're getting, if we get a minimum of $60,000, then we can guarantee that you're going to double your money. You're going to get all your money back times two. And then we're going to have another $20,000 plus, whatever that plus number is, to be able to turn it back into paying off the loans and, and servicing the debt. So that's where the guarantee comes from. We've, um, to date, never had a corporation not do it. So it's like 100% success rate. That's where the guarantee comes from. And sure, you know, with anything in life, there's a risk that to say, let's say, let's say we get into this thing and banks for some reason do what they did in the housing market and decide to stop loaning money to corporations, right? Or something happens and we fill out a form, um, something dumb happens in one of the corporation forms, even though we're professionals and we do this, we know how to do it right. Let's say we do something stupid, we fill out the form wrong or whatever, something happens and it doesn't fund. There's no such thing as 100% um, safety and everything, but the, the amount of the amount of success that we've had pretty much guarantees. That's where the low risk word comes from. It's pretty low risk. All right. That, that sounds good. Uh, good explanation there. I think, uh, I think whoever asked that question is going to be going to be happy about that. Okay. So I've got another um, question here. Uh, and this is in the chat uh, from David is uh, can we fund more than once? So say for instance, they fund $200 um, and then after 120 days, they see, oh, geez, I got double my 200. I made $400 here. Um, can they do it again? Can they put that funds back in this, in, into the system or such? Yeah, we're expecting that most people will not only want to take their investment money. Um, if you're smart, and this is one of the things that we're going to tell you, if you're really smart, and you're a smart investor, you'll take your original money and put it back wherever you got it from. And now you'll just take the new money, which is free. I mean, it's basically you got money for nothing you take the new money and reinvest it into whatever program that we have or you have. And so you're now investing with uh, what the investors call other people's money. You've now, you've now earned some money and you have now your hundred percent zero risk. You can actually start taking a little bit more risk with that money. And we have people that are basically doing a thousand dollars a week. So they may close out on one corporation and next week they get their paycheck. They put another thousand dollars in the next one. We've had somebody do seven or eight different fundings. So you just go in your back office and start a new application and you can do as many as you want. All right. Um, so another question here I have is um, how does the withdrawal process work? Does it go to your bank? Do you guys have a debit card? Um, you know, how does that, how does that work? How do you basically get paid out through this? We do um, three different ways. The first way is commissions are paid out, which you probably know cause you probably got one. We send out an e-check. So if you're a U.S. if you're a U.S. citizen, we prefer to do an e-check and we just send it to your email. You print it out, you bring it to the bank, and that's the easiest and cheapest way. It's actually the fastest. The second way is if you don't have a banking account or you have you're one of the people in the world who's unbankable for whatever reason, good reasons, bad reasons, whatever, um, we can do a PayPal. So we can send a PayPal, um, and then if you're overseas and you don't have either one of those, we can send a bank wire and it's like thirty bucks, thirty five dollars, and we can send a bank wire any place in the world. So that would get everybody paid. And we're actually trying to get uh, Twilio and, and Zelly working so that we can also send with the new, uh, with the new technologies that the banks are offer. All right. Um, so another question here in the chat from Lewis, um, OPL, other people's money. Um, will, there, will there be a way that you can send money besides a bank wire? Like for instance, when you're funding, you know, like we, can you take, we can take e-check if you're a U.S. If you have a U.S. bank, you can take an e-check. And if you're not, bank wire is the only other option. 
Now we're trying to find some other solution. Now here's the, here's the reason, actually, this is a good question because it actually answers another question. Why do you only take um, e-checks and bank wires? And the number one reason is because we pay the commission out the moment, the moment that money clears within five to seven days, we're paying commissions out on your money. We can't take a form of income or money that's going to have a potential chargeback. Because in our profession, especially in the business opportunity side, some people come in, they participate in a program, they, they get all their friends in, right? They, they got these scammers out there, they get all their friends in, they get the commissions on their friends and then they charge back the money. So they get paid twice. And we just can't allow that. So the only way that we can protect your commissions and protect the company is we have to have the forms of money that can't be charged back. So that's why we're doing e-checks and we're doing uh, bank wires. Okay. So for instance, um, I want to give an example to, to people out there that might not understand that. Um, like PayPal guys. Okay. You know how PayPal can do chargebacks? Um, that's basically what he's saying there, which it's, it's a really good thing that, that they, uh, they can't do chargebacks on you or the system might even just fall apart because of that. Okay, so um, I've got another question here. This is probably for Tom. Um, Tom, I asked you this actually the first day uh, that I joined. Um, it's kind of a, a touchy question. You gave me a really good answer for it, um, but I, I actually had a lot of people ask this question. Um, is it about the home page on the website? Uh, why, why is there fake images on it? Like images pulled from Google. I know a ton of websites do that. Like you guys, like this, this is opportunities like next level kind of thing. Why would there even be fake images on the, on the homepage? Yeah. So originally, you know, Bill and I, as I said, we came from the personal funding um, and we had a bunch of white label partners. We had uh, brokers, people that were out there promoting the credit funding business under their own uh, white label name, right? New you financial, credit star funding, and on and on. And so we needed, Bill and I needed to give them uh, a tool that they could use that was kind of generic. Uh, you'll even notice uh, if, if any of you have watched my corporate funding video, my corporate funding video doesn't have any peak branding. I made it so any white label partner could use it. So when I put together the template for peak funding, um, we just use generic images because we can't know who the offices of every white label partner is. We just needed to give them a tool that they can use. And of course, they're welcome to change it. Uh, the truth is I, I used to have a nice, uh, robust uh, uh, WordPress install for peak funding. And then Bill and I, we moved to uh, uh, bet better servers. And when we did that, uh, just the, the easy way for Bill as a programmer, uh, massaging so much data, he said, I'm just going to go to the one pager for now and we'll get the old site reinstalled later. And so that's why, you know, we, we have those royalty stock free images of people that aren't really connected to peak. Uh, but it's not, a, it's, it's definitely not a bait and switch or a smoke and mirror thing. I mean, if I was baiting and switching, I wouldn't be on this webinar, you know, <laughs> and neither would Bill. Uh, so for those of you that you feel kind of uneasy about, you know, uh, not seeing uh, the real faces of the real people behind it, uh, the peak website is going going to be changing soon. I, I made the request a few days ago when Bill's getting getting the the new site installed uh, in the short in, in the short term. But you have no worries. You know we're totally transparent. Uh, you know I'm a high profile person on Facebook as as Drew knows, and I've been helping a lot of people that I only just met. You know people with login issues and whatnot. So Bill and I are here for you. There, there's there's nothing hidden with this company. Yeah, guys, I just want to say this because I did, you know, as I've been promoting this thing, I've talked to so many people about it. Um, I just want to say this publicly right now. Scammers don't have Facebook profiles that are seven years old. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Tom's profile, I believe it's older than that. I think you created it in like 2007 or something like yeah. that. You know, so that's, that's one strong point about this thing. Okay. Uh, next question here kind of relates to that first question that I asked you. Um, just a lot of people ask this, so I thought I, I would uh, ask this as well. I know the answer to this already. Um, but why is there so many websites hosted on the same server um, as peak funding? Bill? We, um, we started out with um, just a single brand, and we started finding people that wanted to bring in large volumes of people. And we started selling what we call, it's, it's, it's the beginning of what, will probably happen in mass in about 18 months. When we decide as a corporation that we have enough corporations and we don't want to take in business, we're going to start white labeling it or we're going to start sharing out the franchise and then anyone can 
have as many white labels. So if you guys went out, you guys are going to see more and more of it as people in some of these other white labels are promoting, you're going to see the exact same offering with a different name. So Tom and I were one of the original uh, starters of this thing. So Peak is probably um, going to be the biggest, the biggest cornerstone white label. But there's six other names out there. Um, New Day Funding, Funders, New Day Funders. I mean, there's all, there's all these other white labels. We have currently ceased all additional white labels. So we're not taking any more. But as we start growing and you guys have a large team, some of you are going to want to step up and do your own white label. There's some great advantages of you making a little bit of share on everything instead of just your original recruit. So uh, we built that program out. And as soon as it's alive again, some of you guys are going to want to know about it. So we'll probably see, you know, 20 or 30 more by, by this time next year. All right. Thanks. Um, next question here. This question's explained in the presentation video by Tom. Um, but a lot of people ask me this, so I thought I would just, um, you know, get it from you guys right here live in this video. Uh, but for example, in the video, uh, an example you're using is $500 equals five shares, potentially worth $12,500 within one year and $170,000 in year two. Um, and then they're saying, can you walk us through this? So basically, kind of the comp plan for the... 120 days like how they're asking kind of can you walk it can you walk them through that simply we should probably do a video just for that I actually don't have the spreadsheet in front of me to be able to do that um, and all of it's all of it's based on the projections of having each loan come through and stacking each um, having your first corporation make enough money to pay everybody back and then having enough money to invest again in either another corporation or a pay it forward program. And the math is pretty simple. If you double, let's say we double $50,000 every 120 days, you can see how that would turn into four hundred, five hundred, six hundred thousand dollars $600,000 in 24 months. And if we have larger numbers, and that's actually what the video does, the video is actually using larger numbers. I like to use smaller numbers because it's, it's first of all, it's more emotionally understandable, you know, it's more emotionally believable. Um, but if we're getting the average, if we, if we start using some of the larger numbers, and you have a share of the corporation, then the math works. Um, I think it'd be good for the math heads of the group where we just do a call where we just do that. I mean, I can show you guys a spreadsheet and say, okay, here's where, here's low case scenario and here's high case scenario. If you have two shares, this is how fast we double. This is how you make your money. This is where you this is where you benefit. But the video does the video does a, a probably good enough job for a math head to figure it out. But for the people who want to see that, I think we should do that on a separate call. Because I love that stuff. I'm a spreadsheet guy. <laughs> All right. Thanks. Um, guys, I see in the chat here on the sidebar, you keep on asking the same questions. Um, these, most of these questions have been answered by Bill and Tom uh, already. Um, you know, just asking about like, how can you double your money? Uh, how can you uh, do 360 times your money in two years? Those questions are kind of already answered. So maybe, if, I think it's maybe you guys just jumped into this uh, uh, webinar maybe a minute ago or so, and that's why you're asking this over here. So uh, next question here I have for you guys is, do, 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 what are the risks when taking out a loan? So I guess for the U.S. citizens that can take out a loan up to, I believe it's $150,000, which is huge. Um, what are, what's the risk involved with that? Is there risk involved with it? Well, um, the risk is if you don't pay the loan back, then um, they start writing you some letters and saying you're a terrible person and they hurt your credit score. <laughs> you know, it's just everybody, everybody understands the loan world. If it's an unsecured loan, you realize there's no, there's no real risk. I mean, the worst thing that happens is they spank your credit score. You know, you get a bad credit score rating and they send you some letters. You tell them to stop sending you letters and they stop doing that. And then um, if you default on the loans and have it removed off your credit score, your credit score goes back up into the 700s and it's as if it had never existed. Now we're not telling people to default on their loans. You know, that's, you want to make that perfectly clear. We have an investment strategy that if you follow the rules and you, and you do what we tell you to do, not only will you make a little bit of money on the front end, uh, but you'll be able to turn other people's money into a way to pay off those loans legitimately. But like I said, worst case scenario, you don't follow our rules. You go, on, you go on a vacation, a cruise, and go buy a yacht, do something dumb, and then don't pay them back. Worst case scenario is you got to go through a credit cleanup and start over. 
And that's on the personal funding side. Again, we're focused on the corporate funding. And, and if the question is, what's the risk for the corporate funders, why don't you cover that? Because mo most of these people are, are just pur purchasing fra fractional pieces of a corporation. Yeah, so on the corporate side, there are no personal guarantees on the loans. So none of you guys are actually putting your social security numbers up. It's not gonna hurt you personally. So if the corporation defaults on those loans, you get, you've got zero liability, zero legal liability. It's just like if you had some shares in Google and Google did something dumb, you can't be hurt by that. So the corporation stands on its own and um, it gets its loans without your, without the necessity of you participating with your social security number. So zero risk and liability on that side for you. All right. Um, I've got a question here. Uh, there was a, well, it was only asked by one person, I think from Italy or so um, there interested in sending funds through wire, um, but their bank is charging them $70. Uh, I don't know. Uh, is that something you guys would know about or, cause there's a lot of international people I know that are going to watch this video and that might be something they might run into. Does that just deal with the bank or is that some kind of area? Well, there are banks. The most expensive one I've heard about is 45. So yeah. international bank wire is 45 bucks in some cases. Uh, 75 is a little bit steep, you know, especially if you're only putting in 200 bucks, you're putting $75 into a wire. Um, if you're still, if you're spending five or $10,000, $75 is insignificant. Uh, one of the things that we can do too, is if you reach out, uh, we probably don't want to do it for $200, but you know, for a $500 plus, if you want to do some kind of cryptocurrency, which costs you, you know, pennies, um, reach out to Tom and we'll get you a cryptocurrency way to pay. And then you have zero fees. So the people that are watching this video, they have an option if they're going to pay say over 500 or, or to 2000, $3,000, they can pay in BTC and they can do that yep. through Tom. Yeah. Litecoin or Bitcoin. You guys hear that? <laughs> That's what they've all been asking me. Can we pay Bitcoin? Can we pay Bitcoin? So this, uh, this could be a really good th thing for a lot of people listening. So that's actually all the questions that uh, I thought were, were uh, <laughs> Louis saying, yay, <laughs> in the uh, chats there. That's actually all the questions that I had um, sent through that I thought would be good enough to ask you guys. Uh, you know, guys, if you're uh, in the chat here and you have something that's on your mind that you think would be a really, really good question to ask, now's your chance to do so um, because we've been on here for about 40 minutes now. And, uh, you know, I don't want to take up too much of these guys' time. They're busy. I know for Tom, um, you know, your day is basically just starting, right? It's, it's probably 10 a.m. for you right now. Um, you got things to do. You got to live the lifestyle. So. <laughs> I got to post the food pics. Uh, uh, there's one more question where, where somebody was saying that, you know, we're in a poor country and we don't have a, 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 a social security number because they're in a foreign country. Uh, that tells me that they're on the personal funding screen when you log into your peak back office, the default dashboard menu is uh, the corporate funding. And that's, that's where you want to fill out documents. Uh, there's only two, two things. There's an application and then the second page shows you where to send your money. If, if you're seeing uh, anything where it's asking you for your social security number and to upload documents, that's personal funding. And if you're in a foreign country that's not the United States, that doesn't pertain to you. All the right, current so minimum to loan in the corporate program is 200. Uh, we're aware that the video says 100. Uh, Bill said in the chat earlier, for those of you that missed it, we're eventually going to raise it to 500 because we've been so busy. It just doesn't make sense. You know, when, when I receive a wire, I pay a $15 wire fee just to receive a wire. And when you're sending a wire, if you're paying 30 bucks or 45 bucks, it doesn't make sense to pay 45 bucks to send 100. And again, the other thing is that, uh, you know, we've just been so busy. There's been so many people ringing the bell that want to get in this program. As the demand gets higher, we've got to make it a little bit more exclusive because, again, there's going to be a ceiling on how many people we can take. And for the record, everyone that participates now will still be able to participate uh, when we close the program to the public. You'll still be able to continue doing what you've been doing with PEAK. Uh, but until we get there... Uh, you know, as the demand rises, so will the cost of entry. All right. Um, another question here, guys, uh, the, uh, Luce is asking is, will this, uh, uh, is it recorded? Um, and yes, it is guys. We're going to put this on YouTube. I highly recommend that you take this video off YouTube, put it on your own channel, send it out to your leads, 
Uh, because, guys, as Tom just said here, uh, they're putting it up to $500. They're going to uh, drop that – or, sorry, put it up to 500 And, uh, you know, it could be, even go up to 1000 So, uh, you know, guys, get in here now. That's basically – what we have to do because <laughs> if it's going up and up and up that's uh you know that's what the, the kind of thing you want to do there um, okay oh you know what i see a question here about sec that's a big thing in our space for fun to earn opportunities um sec just goes and destroys them uh what have you guys done um to basically stay clear of that kind of stuff of fcc um i actually i actually love that question um, I can, I would actually love to do a long version of the answer to this one because it's one of my favorite, it's one of my favorite subjects. So, uh, back 15, 18 years ago, I was a, I was a consultant to the network marketing industry and I got my name to, I got my name to fame because I started a viral network marketing company and I had to be very, very involved in SEC rules and regulations, what you can say and what you can't say, what's an investment, what's not an investment. And the way that we've structured this thing is so brilliant <laughs> because um, I didn't come up with the idea the actual the actual idea came from our friend George and when we structured it it's not an investment opportunity you guys are going to you guys are going to for, I'll just do the short version you guys are basically going to use peak as an escrow company and so you together are similar to like a crowdfunding group you guys as friends are going to come together and come up with 20k and peak is going to be your escrow company the money is then going to go to a corporation that you guys own. You own your own corporation. The money goes into, the permission goes into your own corporation where you guys get to decide what products you want to buy with your corporate money. You have money. You've decided before you started your corporation that what you want to do is the product you want to buy is a corporate build-out program. So you're buying a retail product. You're not buying an investment opportunity. So you have an escrow company sitting outside. So if you guys are white label people, for example, you're not building a business, you're not building a business opportunity and you're, you're just escrowing money so that these people then can take their money and buy a corporate build out. The corporation that you guys own are promising you your money back the moment the corporation's built out. So you guys are making a promise within yourselves to pay yourselves back when the retail product is fulfilled. So the retail guys are doing what they've always done, fulfill a retail product. They're buying, it's not, a, it's not an investment opportunity. The investment comes in when you guys decide in your own corporation, this is how I'm going to pay our own members back. And so SEC would never care. SEC, it, no, nothing that we do or say ever falls into the realm of, of selling securities or having an investment opportunity or taking non-accredited investors because we don't. We're just escrowing your money so that you guys can buy a retail product. And the retail product is the corporate build out. And so we all sit and that we all sit and, and I'd love to show you the story with the graphs and the charts, how, how each person sits on what entity and how they are protected from any violation or any investment scam. Woo. All right. That was good. <laughs> okay. So I got another question. This is actually from my guy, Gord, who uh, he's funding. Oh, I just lost the comments bar. Where'd that go? Oh, did this end? No, who's sharing, sharing your screen? Who's sharing their screen? I don't know. It says I Thomas. think I can remember the question though. Someone is sharing their screen here. <laughs> okay, but anyways, here's the question. I'll find the chat. There it is there. Okay, so Gord. Gord's my guy that contacted me last night and he's like, Drew, this looks really good. I've talked to Tom. Tom seems like a real legit guy. And I want to fund 20K. And guys, I'm telling you right now, you're going to have, you know, once you get the result after 120 days, you're going to have a lot of people look at this thing and take it seriously, okay? Because the admin's active, um, you know, you're going to have proof of income. If you're recruiting, you're going to have some crazy uh, commissions, 30%. It's freaking great, right? So Gord's asking this because he's, he actually, he went to the bank um, and he's funding 20K, sending a wire. So uh, his, I know he's in BC, he's in Canada and uh, he says here that they've got it under review for fraud, the wire. So has that ever happened to you guys before? I guess it happens, it's a, a large sum happens of once or twice a week. It happens all Does the it? time. Okay. It's just so a this normal is just a normal thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. 
it just gets flagged as a potential fraud. They make sure both sides are in agreement and this is what the thing was for and then they let it go. It's, it's usually a one or two day delay at most. Okay. So don't worry, Gord. He's got you yeah. covered. So yeah. Something that helps yeah. is if uh, it's going from a business account to another, you know, obviously it's going to our business account, but if it's coming from a personal checking account into a business account, that's typically when it gets flagged because the average Joe public out there on planet earth isn't sending 20,000 from their personal uh, checking account. But in business, if you have a corporate uh, business account with a bank, you know, 20,000 is small, right? So that's the difference. Okay. So I actually have a question for you guys. Um, are you guys willing to, to, uh, because I think a lot of people are going to make a lot of money with this. And I know a lot of, of my people that have come in, they're used to working with, you know, e-wallets and, and Bitcoin and, you know, kind of try to do the uh, stay away from the government type thing like that. Um, everything's going through the bank with this system. So are you guys willing to put together some kind of little, you know, video or something like that, maybe a 10 minute video, uh, just explaining about taxes and, you know, the proper steps to do with go, basically go with taxes and stuff like that. When you're say someone goes like Gord who funds $20,000, and now his income has gone up, who knows, $180,000 within the next year kind of thing. I, would I know in a or, lot of... Or, or anyone talk to a, a tax professional. You wouldn't want tax advice. Yeah. From... <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay, so talk to a tax professional because I, I have a feeling um, we're going to have a lot of people fund uh, 20 k when they see that result um, coming in 120 days. So talk to a tax professional, guys. Okay. So I think that's it. We answered a ton of questions. Uh, we got to meet Bill. I know you get, most of you guys met Tom before. Um, I thought this was really good. Once again, guys, I just want to sh uh, say, share this video. Okay. Grab it, put it on your YouTube channel and share it with your, uh, uh, on your Facebook uh, page or whatever kind of thing like that. And, uh, you know, get the word out there about the system because it's, it's truly an amazing system. I don't know if you guys want to just say something before we go. Sir Bill, any, any, any last words, closing remarks? Yeah, just stay tuned. Um, just feel comfortable about coming on and asking questions. You know, I don't know how often you guys want to do this thing. I can make myself available as, as we need to. Uh, feel comfortable, ask questions. Um, I'm a family guy, so I make sure that the people in your life are part of the process. You know, it helps build trust and, and relationships, especially if you're going to invest any significant amount of money. Um, get your family on here, ask all the questions. Don't do anything dumb. Um, use your brain, invest smart. And then when the money comes in, don't go crazy. You know, I've seen more people get hurt by, abund by abundance um, than you could ever imagine. I've seen people go crazy when they get their first $100,000. Just, you know, be smart, save it, put it away. Um, we're gonna be doing some investment strategy stuff and some financial planning and some, and some seminars and stuff. And we really believe that, you know, uh, poor people are poor for a reason. Let's, let's change that. Let's, let's give you guys some training once the money starts coming in um, start educating yourself on what the wealthy people do with money let's keep turning it into something good not something bad thanks bill and uh let me put my marketers cap those of you that have been kind of like sitting on the fence and haven't taken action you don't have to understand every aspect of this program to go out there and tell people about it you have an affiliate link in your back office that shows the corporate webinar that webinar is very compelling. If you get that to 20 or 30 people a day, you're going to be making crazy money. Just get your link out there. Drew is living proof. He started showing this to people, and all of a sudden, someone's knocking on his door saying, hey, I just tried sending $20,000. What? Really? Yes. It's that compelling. Just look, if you do the work, you'll get the reward. Don't be shy. Get your affiliate link out there and watch your income grow. Anything from you, Drew? No, that's it. I, I thought this went amazing. And uh, I just want to say one more time. I know I said this three times, guys, but grab this video. This video is going to do a lot because when people see this and they see that there's real people behind this, it's going to make a big difference. Reach out uh, to Drew to get the YouTube video. I'm going to uh, compress it and I'll get it up on Wistia and Drew will get it up on YouTube. And within the next six hours, you'll have access to the video. And uh, appreciate everyone making the time. I'm sorry it went so long, but I hope it was informative. And I'll see you guys on the boards. God bless everyone.